Hello, folks. Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is Rabelo. Welcome to the channel Rabelo Games. Many thanks to support the channel in this video. All about the advanced specialty trap Unity specialty. So, before starting, like this video and subscribe the channel. Many thanks and let's go. E aí pessoal, tudo ótimo, tudo tranquilo, já deixa o like no vídeo aí para fortalecer o vídeo no nosso canal, muito obrigado, muito obrigado pela força de vocês, bora lá. Ok, folks, the specialty troops, this is the sequence, this is the sequence that I highly recommend you to follow. I will show you the age advanced, the specialty troop specializations later in this video. The most important here is to save your chests is the cost benefit so you must select the best attributes to improve in your specialty troops you see larger troop has step 2 in the sequence larger troop 1 and 2 are so useful to make tier 10 troops useful to save a lot of diamonds making tier 10 troops Command center is the best way to make tier 10 troops. Actually, promoting is the best way to save diamonds making tier 10 troops. Tier 9 troops up to tier 10 troops. Promoting is the best way to save diamonds. It's not necessary to maximize larger troop. Just upgrade these specializations. The total plus 50 percent 20 tier 10 troops speed and plus 10 percent 20 speed for any troops if you don't want to spend chests to make tier 10 troops i don't recommend you to go for larger troop just forget larger troop in sequence considering the cost benefit to spend your chests to spend your pen drives has step 4 special combat in special combat keep fighting is so strong very strong it increases the resistance up by 50 percent when your troop squad's power drops below 50 percent of the initial amount after facing many apc formations Okay, when the amount of troops in the squads drops below 50% of the initial amount, it increases the resistance up to 50%. 50% resistance is too much. Now the phase 6 solder enhancement. Solder enhancement is so expensive but it's necessary to unlock fighter training one. The last time I get rid a lot of specialty program chests, I get rid about 25,000 specialty program chests. <laughs> but isn't the enough to maximize the basic specializations? It's crazy, dude. These are the amount to maximize some um, basic specializations just to maximize the solder training tree it's over 7000 specialty program now the next steps you improve siege skill and defensive skill siege skill is only useful when you attack some base okay siege attacks and the defensive skill is only useful when you receive some attack in your base, okay? When you receive some attack in your base, siege attacks. You need about 1000 special program for each one, okay? 1000 for siege skill and 1000 for defensive skill. Quickly, let's spend some Specialty programs now 80,000 chests for 2,600 specialty program. First, siege attack and then defensive attack. Okay, finished and now defensive attack. 
Okay, it's done. The next step is step nine. Shooter training one, okay, is the step nine to upgrade your specializations. Considering the buffs and effects, the cost benefit. Okay, let's improve the step nine now. There are good effects useful in any situation, in any battle situation. Step nine is about 3,300 specialty programs to maximize. Good buffs for any battle situation. Commanders, these are the nine basic specializations to improve at first, considering the cost benefit. In this video, just suggestions, just suggestions for you. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the next steps, the next ones are much more expensive. That's why these are the suggestions, nine steps at first before going to another's. Now folks, these are the advanced specializations, the suggestions, the sequence, the step suggestions. In enhanced tactics, there is the special armor. Special armor is one of the best specializations in this game. When the squad's troop power drops below 50% of the initial amount, it increases the might and resistance by 50%. It's crazy, 50% resistance and 50% might. It makes a big difference in battle. If you want to improve your siege attack damage, go for siege skill too. Siege skill are useful only when you attack the base, the enemy base. In harsh training, it's important to go for the top specializations at first. It's not necessary to maximize. Follow these directions to improve your troops during doomsday seasons. That's all. In general, this is the sequence suggestion about the advanced specializations. There isn't the best way. There isn't the best sequence. It depends your gameplay. Finally, this is another sequence suggestion for you. Another way is to reach and maximize. It's very, very expensive. That's all, folks. I hope I helped you with this video. It's very important to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's very important to put the like in this video, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Many thanks and good game. É isso aí, pessoal. Muito obrigado. Deixa o like no vídeo aí. Muito obrigado pela força no canal e um ótimo jogo.